All right, so today we are going to talk about two common noises associated with a hot engine on the 5.4 liter three valve Triton engine. I get this question a lot and the, the latter noise um, is actually one of the noises that I get a lot of questions on. Uh, a lot of shops, including dealerships, do not understand it uh, and they think the engine's coming apart and that's why I get a lot of uh, estimates for new engines out there when all they need is a timing job, high volume wheel pump, stuff like that. Um, so let's go to the vehicle and check it out. We're going to go for a drive. Now these noises only happen when the engine's full hot and some of you might only notice these noises you know, during the summer months when underhood temps are really high. Uh, and the ambient temp is, of course, higher at all times. So let's go to the vehicle, go for a ride, and we'll let you listen, and we'll come back and try to explain it a bit more. All right, so this is phaser knock. Okay. Locking pin there's pretty sloppy. You can see it jumping around quite a bit on there. Now this... Once the VCT system is being actuated, is phaser oscillation. Let's listen again. here right there as we're accelerating and only when you're accelerating past 900 rpms usually 900 1200 rpms somewhere in that range we're here at the most um, that's phaser oscillation that's the phasers jumping back and forth they're being not being controlled uh, because you have a low oil pressure and volume issue uh, due to the blown tensioners and such and that will not show as a low oil pressure concern on your cluster here it's not low enough to trigger the switch on there but it's what's happening it's exactly what's happening it's a erratic bct operation and it's only going to get worse as the engine gets hotter okay so let's talk about the first noise that i, I showed you guys uh, and that's phaser knock. So phaser knock is due to the phaser basically wearing, up, wearing out. There's a locking pin inside of there. And once it wears, uh, as the engine goes around and around and around, it kind of moves around in there a little bit and makes this knocking noise. Now, the, the phaser and even the camshaft, is there's a good hunk of metal. So when it, that knocking noise uh, is, is present in the phaser, it's going to resonate through that camshaft on there. Uh, so that's why you get that almost like a rod knock noise, but it's only when the engine is full hot at an idle. That's the only time it's going to happen, and that's 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 phaser knock. Um, and this is perfectly fine. It's not going to self destruct. Uh, it's not going to cause metal to go throughout the engine. Um, it, it's not going to necessarily fail on you. It's more of a, a wear and a tolerance issue uh, causing the knock noise. So. If it doesn't embarrass you, you can basically let it go, all right? Now, the second one, that phaser oscillation, when you start, like, let's say you're creeping through a drive through a 900, 1200 RPM, somewhere in that range where it's a low enough RPM that we're starting to actuate the VCT system and the phasers, uh, but the RPM's low enough that if you have any kind of clearance issues or oil pressure issues, and more importantly, volume issues, um, they're going to be present then. Again, hot. So if you have a clearance issue, a blown tensioner, something like that, and the engine oil is hot, it's going to bleed off like water coming out of there all right, really fast. Uh, so when, that, when you get to 900 RPMs and you start turning on the phasers, you, that's when it first starts, they're, they're gonna, it's going to be like a sputtering oil coming into there. It won't be a nice, constant, full flow. So therefore, you get this this phaser oscillation where they're kind of actuating, they're falling back, actuating and falling back. And that's why you may get 
Um, when it gets bad enough, you may get an instance where it can't bring it back and it gets stuck in the retarded position. So as it's actuating, it's retarding the actual base engine timing. Uh, and then when, once you come back down to idle, it should come back to full advanced. So sometimes when it's so bad, you get phaser oscillation when you're actuating, and then you come back down to an idle, you come back to a stop, uh, five, 600 RPMs, and the oil pressure's not there to help it come back to the fully advanced position, and you get stuck in the retarded position, which basically means intermittently, your engine timing is off, which will cause it and sometimes even just stall out. Uh, I have another video where I show a really good example of, of that. Um, so those are the two noises uh, that, are, that are common with a hot engine on the 543 valve. And the phaser oscillation is obviously the worst of the two. That means you need to get in there and do a timing job. You've been ignoring the engine for a while. It probably has a startup rattle, etc., etc., etc. And you've been neglecting it. You need to get in there and take care of it. Uh, whereas phaser knock is more of a nuisance and it's not an actual... Uh, durability concern overall with the engine. So I hope that that really explains it uh, for you guys uh, so that you can you know really get an idea of what's going on inside the engine especially specifically the 543 valve. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.